Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watcher, you're always welcome here. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Good evening, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you and I truly appreciate you. So we are doing a general reading for Leo. This is for the second week of July 2021. Okay, guys? It is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo. I've already shuffled Sage. Prayed over the cards. Okay. Let's see what's going on. What's your overall? What's some? Oh, give me some overall energies, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for this clarity and understanding. What do you have for Leo? Okay, we have two cards that fall. At the bottom of the deck, you got trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. What do you have here, Leo? You have self-care. Clear your inner energy field and focus on yourself before acting. And then you have interference. Whoa. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Smell like a third party. Leo. Give me a love card for Leo, please. Thank you so much. Ooh. Pay attention to the red flags is at the bottom of the deck. Signs are cautioning you. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> you have unrequited love here, Leo. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This smells like... Someone is not getting the attention that they deserve. So they looking outside. Mm -hmm. Somebody is... <clears throat> not happy and they are looking outside of their relationship when I was shuffling these cards I did see the <clears throat> the empress and the emperor and the three of swords so somebody is cheating here it is possibly in a marriage. It could be a commitment. Somebody is not happy. Let me shuffle and see what's really going on here, Leo. Let's see what's really going on, Leo. Six of Wands. Somebody here requires a lot of attention. <clears throat> I also get self-care is, you know, clear your energy, take care of yourself. But I'm also getting that someone here is selfish too. I'm getting someone here is selfish. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm hearing. Someone here is selfish. And someone is over it. That's why we have stay optimistic about your your love life. Look what popped over the hair font. This definitely is regarding a marriage. And there is kids involved here in this situation. And then the ten of cups flips over. Yes. Definitely talking about a marriage. We have the seven of pentacles, the two of wands, and the higher font. Somebody is wondering, like, should I still invest in this situation? Someone is at a crossroads, y'all. Somebody's at a crossroads. They're, they're, 
I think someone is looking at other options, okay? Either it's you, Leo, or the person that you're dealing with is looking at other options. Because there's no more love here. And it's not. It's not enough love to keep something going. Because somebody was looking on the outside. Doing what they wasn't supposed to be doing because they was being selfish. Somebody was requiring a lot of attention. And they just like wasn't, felt, felt they wasn't happy. Felt they wasn't happy. What you got here for Leo, guys? What else you got here for Leo? The Nine of Wands. Ooh, the Tower. Whoa. Look, the Three of Swords. Yay, Leo. What the? What's really going on here? And at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles again. Somebody's wondering if they should still invest. Is it worth still investing? Is it worth still investing? Investing? We have the four swords. Someone is freaking over it. Someone's tired. Someone needs to rest. Someone is taking a break here. Someone is moving away from this situation. And we have the tower here. The universe is stepping in. This is too much for somebody. The nine of wands. Someone's very protected here. Someone is very, very protected here. Definitely was a third party. What did I say? Of course, there was interference here. And definitely could have been a marriage because look, oh my God, these same cards came out, y'all. You cannot make this shit up, okay? Look at this. We got the emperor, the empress, and the ten of wands. Someone is heavily burdened in a marriage, for sure, for sure. Something is about to be so over, y'all. I'm just saying, this is what it is. This is what it is. Wow. <sighs> Let's clarify these and see what it is. You have temperance here. Um, someone is definitely going, it's healing from heartbreak. Someone is definitely here healing from heartbreak. Um, the page of, so I mean, the ace of swords. Universe has given someone some clarity on what's really going on here in this situation. Someone is moving forward, determined to move successfully forward, okay? Moving away from all of this craziness, because this is craziness. Ace of Wands, someone. Universe is offering someone a new passionate beginning because someone is definitely not happy in this situation. Period, period. There is no happiness. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, y'all. I am. I'm sorry to hear this. <sighs> Someone is definitely not happy. The Seven of Wands, the Two of Wands. I mean, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Higher Fat. I mean, keep getting the same cards. It's the same ones when I was shuffling. It's coming out. You guys could be dealing with a Leo here. But you know what? Somebody is begging somebody not to go. Somebody is like, please don't go. Please, please, please don't go. Y'all, mm -mm. I think something is really over. Okay, let's clarify this. This is somebody stressing, y'all. Somebody is stressing about somebody's leaving, so why is the ace of wands? See somebody leaving because somebody is a thief, a liar. I mean, come on. Does things behind someone's back. This is clarifying the Ace of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Leo? Why is the Ace of Wands here for Leo? Um, somebody could be starting a new beginning with someone in their past. <clears throat> Whoever is starting a new beginning, this is a soulmate connection. This is a passionate new beginning that someone is starting. 
I don't know if you know, Leo. You know, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. This could be the cross watcher. If someone's cross, if you watching for Leo, someone's starting a new beginning, a passionate new beginning with somebody in their past. Yeah. And when I say passion and new beginning, this person been sneaking. Leo, either you or the person that you're dealing with been sneaking, seeing somebody in their past. And, th and this person could be in a marriage. But somebody been sneaking, seeing somebody in their past already. But somebody done found out about it. <laughs> you ain't sneaking. You ain't sneaking. Somebody already knew what you was doing. Leo, this is you or whoever you dealing with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why somebody about to get ghosted. The hermit. It just fell out. I'm just, I'm just telling it though. Somebody's definitely getting ghosted here. Because somebody don't found out that. I mean, the signs have been cautioning someone. Okay. Somebody been knowing that you've been cheating. Okay. Leo, this is you or the person that you're dealing with. Why is this four swords here? And someone's taking a break from this situation. Someone is taking a break. Yeah, someone's taking a break from someone giving to other people. Moving forward. We got the cherry here twice. Someone is definitely moving forward, Leo, okay? Definitely. There's no if and buts about it. This person is moving forward. Why is the tower here? The tower is being clarified by the lovers. Someone had to make a, a big decision about two people and someone was dealing with two people somebody whoever this person is the lovers this is a very strong connection here this was somebody's wish fulfillment but not anymore why is the nine of wands here nine of wands not anymore the nine of wands the knight of wands is being clarified by the knight of cups Someone wants to still fight for this. And someone is like, man, uh -uh, nope, it ain't happening. The star card. Someone still wants to heal this situation. And somebody's like, okay, and? This is what you've been taking me through. Betrayal. Deceit. Stabbing me all in the, in the chest. <laughs> in the chest. Why is the three of swords here? The empress is hurt. The empress is hurt in this situation. If you guys are married, the empress. So the emperor. Y'all could go both ways. Don't get it twisted. But I'm just letting y'all know who somebody's hurt here. And the empress came out. We got the empress here twice on the table. So I'm just going to assume, okay? I'm just assuming don't get in my comments tripping. It was him. It wasn't me. I don't want to hit it. Whatever. Y'all know what side y'all fall on. But what I'm saying right here is somebody hurt the empress. Okay? The female. Yeah. Stabbed her in the back. Put her in a third party. <clears throat> but She's healing, or he's healing. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here, guys? Um, the Seven of Wands. See, she's being blocked. She's blocking her, her, her. She's protecting herself now. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? Yeah, trying to manifest something. But the Emperor has been the manipulator here. I'm sorry to say that, y'all, but I'm just saying what my guys are saying. Yeah. See, the emperor has been the manipulator, has been the one that's confused, has been the one who has had options, okay? This is over. This is the end of a cycle here. This is the end of a cycle. Wow, that was all over the place. Why is a chariot here? Why is a chariot here? As far as clarifying, guys. Yeah, the chariot. Someone is moving. 
This is the six of wands. Someone is moving away from this situation. And whoever is moving away from a situation is going to be very, very, very successful. Okay? Very successful. But someone is moving away also because someone requires a whole lot of attention. Could be dealing with a little narcissist here that just like to, you know, have attention from everybody. Sure. Everybody. Why is temperance here? You're definitely healing. The Ten of Cups. Someone wants to heal this family situation. Why is the Ten of Cups here? It's definitely a family here. Definitely involves children. But so someone has gotten some clarity here. They want a second chance. They want to heal this situation. But it could be too late. It could be too late. Somebody is already collaborating with someone else, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Someone is already collaborating with somebody here. Um, yep, I see the death card, the five of cups. Yeah, I said that's what I say. I think it's too late. I think it's too late. Somebody is over a manipulator, someone who loves to play monotonous mind games I'm a, na a master manipulator the emperor yeah what's the outcome here too many cards what's the outcome here guys the king of swords somebody's getting cut off the king of swords somebody is thinking logical and practical right now someone does is not wearing their heart on their sleeves they know what, exactly what it is they need to do and that's what they're going to need to do. And the King of Swords, yes, he comes speaking truth. Okay? Yeah, speaking truth. And then, I'm going to cut your ass off. Cut it off. What's the op? Ten of Wands. This is a burden. Somebody is not doing the burdens now. Queen of Cups. Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign. But let's get some advice. This was like clear. Clear. This was very clear for somebody. For somebody. This is very clear for somebody. Let's see advice for Leo. Hmm. The unknown card. What's the advice? Why is the unknown card here? The Queen of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody is taking action with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Someone is already building with someone secretly. Okay? Yeah. Somebody is taking action. This could be you, Leo. Queen of Wands, could be male or female, taking action, building with someone else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then again, maybe, no, that's for somebody. Don't get it twisted. That's for somebody. Somebody's always been conniving here. A master manipulator, I'm trying to tell y'all. But somebody, like I said, you, you already know somebody too. Do want to take action and possibly work this out, but it's not going to happen. Somebody is over it. Something, we got the world, the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. Good luck, good fortune. Something is destined here. The Queen of Swords, yeah. Someone is cutting someone out. And it's destined to happen. And that's going to be somebody's karma. That's going to be someone's karma. That someone is leaving. Taking the risk. Starting their own new journey. Look, this person right here. She's looking at the options that universe has. She's looking at the options. But some, that someone's karma is going to be someone leaving them. 
someone leaving them and they and they just now figured out who this person was, but it's too late. Leo, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.